Uh, yeah, definitely. I think, you know, um, it's something that shows you've been here, you've done your part here, and, um, you know, it's something that I'm pretty excited to be a part of, and, um, like I said, I don't know how I'll feel until tomorrow happens. Do you expect it? I know you said you don't know exactly what to expect. Are you, do you, are you emotional enough that you might cry? Um, I'm, I would say I'm an emotional person, um, so maybe it's a, very, it's a possibility, but like I said, I don't know really what to expect until it kind of it happens, because it still doesn't feel like it's the end yet. <laughs> What's the hardest part about balancing the fact that you have senior day tomorrow, but also like you know you're going to keep playing, so it's like mm -hmm. the end, but not really, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's something that um, for us, you have to be able to embrace it, have fun with it, um, really enjoy the moment and experience, but um, we know that there's still things that we want to get accomplished and still stuff that we have to prepare for, so uh, while it happens, um, the before the game and the after game stuff, we're going to have a lot of fun doing that, that type of stuff, but while the game's going on and practices from here on out, um, they're going to go back to business as usual. It's never about individual awards, but your name's going to be up on the wall tomorrow. What does that mean to you? Um, it's awesome. It's really cool. Um, I think you know, for me and Fee both to be up there, it's pretty amazing that we both kind of came in and went through this together and get to see that happen. What are you, what are you going to remember about Fee specifically and, and just in general when you look back and you look at her and think, wow, we went through this together? Yeah, I think, you know, just how, you know, long you spend here, it's a long, it's a good amount of time and um, the amount of time we spent together and the amount of, um, you know, friendship we've built over the, over the years is something that I'll remember the most, um, even more so than basketball stuff, just how much of a relationship we've been able to build and, um, you know, have each other's backs at all times. What's the most impressive thing about her? Um, I mean, I think it's funny that, um, you know, to me and to everyone else, she's super personable and has emotion and everything and I don't know why everyone on the outside seems to think that she doesn't have any. <laughs> was there a specific moment maybe when you guys were freshmen together where you realized this is the person I can lean on, this is the person I can go and talk to, we're both going through the same thing, was there like a hard practice or a time when he was screaming at both of you? Or? I mean, there wasn't anything specific. I think freshman year, especially for us, we spent so much time together um, in our dorms and, um, you know, just being isolated and being here we both had our own struggles going through freshman year and um, you know different approaches to things but when it came to off the court we kept it off the court we kind of focused on getting things done that weren't basketball related and having fun and trying to you know make the most out of our time because if we just sat there and analyzed everything and talked about it over and over again it wouldn't have helped us at all really do you guys hang together in the off season at all or is it kind of like a reunion every summer when you got back together um, I have saw her a couple times um, this summer and stuff, and then um, it used to be we used to see each other at USA, so um, <laughs> then I kind of got hurt last summer and I messed that up, but, um, <laughs> you know, I think it's the amount of time you spend here, you kind of want to get away from your team and go home and enjoy all that um, during the summertime, so um, I'd say it's a reunion, but we spend more of the year together than we do apart, so, um, you know, that's just something that you get used to with your teammates, but I don't know, it'll be interesting to see what happens after this and how we kind of figure out how to see each other. Mm -hmm. Gino has always had on his great teams, you know, he's a lot of great players, but one key player that is the go-to, you know, whether it's Diana or Maya or Stewie or somebody, they've always had great players around them. This year is kind of unique in that mm -hmm. the two of you are kind of that player together. Yeah. Um, do you guys see it that way as the, the, the two of, this team will go as far as the two of you go together and how do you handle that kind of pressure? Um, I mean it just comes with playing here. We knew when we came here that there's you know a different type of pressure playing on UConn and um, you know since this year started uh, we've all kind of figured out that we need each other to be successful and that means everyone on the team needs each other and um, you know for Fee and I it's easier for us to play off each other because we play together so much we kind of understand each other's strengths and weaknesses so we know that when things go wrong or when stuff's going on we have to be the ones to pick it up for each other whichever one of us does it um, we have each other's backs and we know that um, the one of us is going to be solid I think we have that confidence in each other that when things go wrong we can pick it up and since we know how to play together um, we feel confident in that situation is there 
I mean, everyone who talks about you guys can finish each other's sentences, and when you're on the court, you know where she's going to be. Is there a look she gives you, or do you like glance somewhere, and you know that she's going to pass the ball to you there, or you know she's going to that spot, or and how did that develop? Um, I don't think there's a look or anything. It's just understanding where we like to be on the court, and um, I think I give more looks and specific things with Crystal of us trying to figure out new things. Fee and I just seem to understand where we're going to be instead of trying to figure out, oh, what can we do? We kind of just already know ahead of time. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, really. <laughs> Was there a particular eyes in the back of the head moment with her that, that you recall or you were like... Wow, I didn't realize she was going to know that I was doing that. Or... Um, I mean, there's a lot of times where I catch it on the wing and he, she cuts down the middle, and she knows, and I know, that I'm going to usually throw it because it, when I throw it in the lane to Fee and Stride, I feel pretty confident that it's not going to be a turnover, <laughs> even if I throw a bad pass. Um, so she knows I'm going to throw it no matter what. How would you describe your career here? Um, Good. I mean, you know, I've developed – more as a basketball player than I could ever imagined coming here. I've been able to do things that I didn't know were possible. Um, I think, you know, it's hard to um, look at each year and specifically try to figure out and pick things apart because it's pretty easy to do, pick the negatives out. So overall, um, looking back and seeing how much we've been able to do and, you know, we've played really good. We've gotten a lot of attention, a lot of fans and stuff like that, and that's the way you kind of look at everything. But um, it's hard to look at it because I know that, like, we have a game tomorrow right, and then yeah. one after that. So um, there's still always that in the back of my mind that it's been great so far, but there's still stuff we want to get accomplished this year. So in actuality, tomorrow's just another day. Yeah, <laughs> in a weird way. Yeah. And like I said, we'll enjoy those the moments when it's happening definitely be there present in the moment and for the after stuff that we do but um like i said we can't get caught up in it or else it'll affect how we play so we got to be ready for the game yeah it's really cool um it's really you know just an honor to be playing at this program with her and just to see what she's been able to do and have her um, get recognized and everything and to be a part of the team while that's happening um, it's pretty cool feeling to just have her around and be able to be here while she's honored. How did your four years kind of match up with your expectations before coming? I mean it's hard to think what I expected I don't even know what my ex expectations were coming into here um, because I think you know it's easy to think about like specifics, but it's always harder than you expected. And playing here has been a challenge, and it's been a struggle. But it's been something that, you know, as a competitor and as someone, I've loved and enjoyed the whole ride. And um, there's been tons of ups and downs, but um, I mean, definitely had some endings that you didn't like. But <laughs> that's how it goes.